I have dramatic news for you guys. If I have dramatic news, I have to yell it. Uh, so we have new numbers from uh, Just Democrats. So remember, we recently partnered up with brand new Congress. Uh, we'll start uh, reporting unified numbers going forward, including today. Now, numbers are always fun when they're actually great. So first, <laughs> how many supporters uh, does the combined group have now? Will you look at this? 217,651 supporters. Damn. So they say that uh, starting a party on the left, uh -huh. um, in this case within the Democratic Party, oh, well, I mean, are you really gonna get any traction on that? How quickly have other wings of the parties gotten out to this kind of support? I mean, over 200,000 people this quickly. I mean, we started Just Democrats about a month ago. Mm -hmm. So, and, and a lot of these numbers are coming from that group. Okay, now money raised, hold, hold, hold. Over a million dollars oh already. Uh, One million twenty-four thousand three hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Uh, well, you know, the, what a lot of the criticism of, uh, of groups that pop up that are progressive, oh, you, you, you don't have enough money, you'll never get enough money. Just like that, we've got some real money on our hands. And you know why? It's because of you guys. It's all small donors because big donors are not allowed. You're not allowed to take corporate money, you're not allowed to take PAC money. So thank you guys. You know what you're doing? You're putting us on the map, you're putting progressives on the map. Now a lot of the rest of the media, I got word earlier today even before this announcement saying, "Oh, that's real, yeah. that's real, we better pay attention. Because this is gonna go towards primary establishment Democrats who are still doing the corporatist agenda and eventually beating Republicans. So how many donors have we had so far? 41,793, uh, so uh, there's a lot more people who have signed up for the party, but they're, these are the people who are putting their uh, actual money behind uh, their actions as well. So by the way, justdemocrats.com is where you can go uh, to donate, to sign up, and also to nominate. So people are, we're getting real citizens to run, doctors, uh, veterans, nurses, teachers, etc. So it's a real populist movement with the actual population. So uh, from time to time, rarely we might have someone who's been involved in politics for a little bit of time. But overwhelming majority are regular citizens who are leaders in their community. But come on, how many of those could there possibly be? How many nominations could there be? Well, I'm glad you Five asked. Five or six maybe. Yeah, 8,387 people have already been nominated. Uh, uh, this is a very serious group. A lot of the folks that worked here worked on Bernie's campaign. Uh, so they already know how to organize, they, they know how to put together campaigns. And there are four rounds of vetting. Uh, we're gonna find the best candidates out there and we're gonna run them. And it is going to be incredibly practical, pragmatic, and it is going to lead to victories. So by the way, uh, 30 nominees have already gone uh, through the vetting process and through candidate training. So if you think we're not coming, uh, well, you got another uh, idea coming to you. Uh, I believe we're the ones who knock, and soon corporate Democrats will be knocking on your door. So, fun I love times. This. <laughs> I, I mean, this is this gets me so excited, especially because you know these races, for the most part, have traditionally been so expensive, but they don't need to be. We, we talked about this during the DNC race. You know, you are raising money for Justice Democrats from small dollars to run against these corporate Democrats who are running really expensive campaigns. And I think they're gonna be shocked when they see that not only are these regular people gonna beat them, but they're gonna beat them with a lot less money and more effectively. Yeah, yeah it's, that, really, it's really leveraging the change in technology and, and society, especially the internet. Um, there's all these new tools that you can use to reach out to people to make your, your platform known and everything. But the way that we used to do things, how did they use that? They used that basically during the presidential campaign, someone like Obama maybe would raise a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty much it. They saw it as a source for money, but it can be so much more powerful than that. Yeah, and part of the reason I'm wearing this shirt, we're the ones who knock is because in this case, we're literally going to be knocking on doors. Mm -hmm. And I can give you many different examples of how that has worked. There's a, a the most progressive Democrat in Hawaii took out the most conservative Republican in the state legislature of Hawaii. It was a Tea Party Republican in Hawaii, in Maui, and he beat him. He uh, he beat him by 26 points. 26 is an interesting Damn. common number that we keep running into. Uh, and how did he do that? He literally knocked on every door in that district three times. Mm -hmm. So you just work harder. So what Nomi pointed out in her coverage of the DNC chair race was that, um, 
a lot of the consultants take huge commissions, the national democratic consultants do, if you run expensive ads, especially TV ads. So they don't want you to do the most efficient thing. They are literally incentivized, not because they're bad people, but because they're incentivized to do the most inefficient spending. So they'll take your donations and they will spend a lot of it on TV, even though, hey, did it work for Hillary Clinton? She has spent Trump two to one, mainly in TV, and it didn't work. It didn't work, his digital ads worked better. And so now there's the efficiency between the ads, but the most effective thing in the world is free, which is knocking on doors. We did that, I say we from time to time, I should be clear. This is me as a person who supports Justice Democrats, me as a person who supports Wolfpack, obviously it helped found both of those groups. So in the case of Wolfpack, they just ran a race in Connecticut for a state Senate race. Now that was a giant 36 point lead the Republican had as a district that has been Republican for over 100 years. And they closed it to a 10 point race, meaning they made up, there it is again, 26 points. And that was just in a four month period. In November, the guy won by 36, and then they just had the election and he only won by 10. They closed 26 points, why? They knocked on doors. It is, and, and how do we do that? That's why if you want to donate to justdemocrats.com, that's fantastic, go do that right now. You, but most importantly, sign up, be part of the party. And, and volunteer, because with people power, we can't actually win. Yes, we still definitely need money as well for infrastructure, uh, but we know how to do this. We've done this in these different groups. It's not pie in the sky. Uh, in the case of Wolfpack, they won election after election. That was just to show people how big a lead they can close, right? Uh, the, uh, Steve Valancourt was booted in New Hampshire. There's many other cases where Wolfpack kicked out six term incumbents and, and others. Uh, obviously, Bernie closed, you don't talk about 26, Bernie closed a 60 point lead on Hillary Clinton. Uh, now, with the giant advantages she had, he didn't get over the top and win that race. But people are underestimating how an enormous, uh, not really a comeback, but cover behind um, uh, result that was for Bernie Sanders. He had almost no name recognition, she had all of it, and he closed a 60 point lead anyway. We can do this, and together we will do this, and we'll shock the world. Are you sick of the mainstream media? Then I got good news for you. We're gonna hire some investigative reporters and we're gonna go house. We're actually going to investigate what's happening in this country and stand up for you guys. Help us do it, go to tytnetwork.com slash go. If everybody watching this video just gives a little bit of money, we'd have plenty to hire those investigative teams and unleash them on the country.